Hey everyone, so I can finally talk about Suffragette. I have seen this film and I'm actually really nervous to do this video because Suffragette for me is a film that I now hold in very high esteem but also one that I was looking forward to for two years. It was quite a long time ago that it was announced that Helena Bonham Carter was going to be in it. Of course the reason I was initially interested but I'm also a diehard devotee of, of the suffragists and the suffrage movement. So this film had great potential for me and I can honestly say it truly, truly delivered. Obviously the film focuses on the suffrage movement and it focuses specifically on the working women and the role they play in following Emmeline Pankhurst. And it actually focuses on one specific aspect of history, one iconic moment, but I won't say what it is because I didn't know what it was building up to until towards the end and that for me was a fantastic reveal. Now I don't know if I've just missed something in the run up, but either way I'm so glad I wasn't aware of what it was building up to towards the end because it was just absolutely astounding. I feel like it truly captures the essence of the suffrage movement as I perceive it to be and Meryl Streep as Emmeline Pankhurst it's, it's wonderful casting. I wasn't sure how that was going to come across, but personally, I think she is powerful and she is passionate, and for me, the casting there worked perfectly. The casting as a whole was fantastic. Carrie Mulligan was wonderful. Uh, I do like her work, but this for me has to be my favourite role she's ever done. There are certain scenes, specifically when she's in prison, which we, they're heartbreaking to watch. They're very powerfully done, especially with the milk, that's all I'm going to say. But the screams and the echoes and the way it just cuts to silence. And it's just so creatively done and every single frame of this film for me was spot on. Then we come to the reason why I was initially interested in Helena Bonham Carter. Of course, we all know I'm slightly batty on that front. Edith Ellen, what a woman, what a character. A very strong woman, uh, mentally perhaps more than physically and there's so much devotion there in that character and to think these women were real women and this actually happened and this is things that these women have gone through M myself as a female basically owe all of my achievements to these women because without the right to vote without this stance in society i would not really be allowed to have the career that i have at least to the level that i do and to think that watching these as a woman thinking if it, if it weren't for these women, if it wasn't for this moon, if it wasn't for the tortures they put up with, who says what life would be like for a woman in Britain today? I thought the costumes were particularly fantastic, some wonderful clothes that I would happily wear today and they are beautiful. There's a great mix of scenes with large crowds to scenes with only one or two women and I think the contrast works perfectly. I have zero complaints with this. For me, Suffragette was everything I needed it to be and more. I can't wait for the DVD. I'm going to watch it again and again and again. And please, if you haven't seen Suffragette, go and see it. I think men may watch it slightly differently to the way women do. I'm not sure, especially if you're a guy. Let me know what you think of this. But please share your thoughts on Suffragette. Two years waiting for this film and it was worth every second of the wait. It's just absolutely phenomenal. But yes, let me know what you think. Fantastic film, truly loved it. Please feel free to leave suggestions for other films I should check out and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.